This is the 1.5 star Darius pet, the weekly challenge with our 2 star set. Let's do this. Let's look at the mutators. Okay. Each round, the first player spilt over in Zion card costs one less. Right? Should have spilt over Zion card, but majority of the spilt over Zion champions I have are quite high level. I want to take the lowest one, Neela and Sit are the lowest one. I don't want to play Neela too much, dude. Okay. Uh, Overwhelm and is pretty nice. I'll take it. Free face damage to face. Hmm. We need to get some built over cards then. Expensive. Should I play? Okay. Keep set because we're attacking on events. Never mind. We're not technically attacking on events. We get one extra mana. So we'll be attacking on odds. And set will be coming on the board on odds. I mean. Play this one. Attack in. Get the coin. Oh, we, if we spend 6 mana, everything on the board gets plus 1, plus 1, right? Yeah, if we play 6 mana. The sea will take or lose, I'm getting paid. As we get plus 1, plus 1 for everything on the board, when we get play plus 6, I'll keep it. Because then I'll be able to grow this one enough to trade, take the trade. No point in the trade in the long run, I won't take the trade, right? There are two. shores to hills, we know every acre. Attack with me, yeah. Get more points. This is the turn we can play set. I play our coins and grow everything by 1 1. Even more, I think. Big night. Let's give him a show, huh? I always do, boss. So, what we want to do? Okay, never mind. You can't technically spend it before the attack goes through, though. Invaders. Block like this. Block it like this. Let's block it like this. is do we spend mana here or next turn that's the question we can spend it next turn when we have another unit to play or something else to play at the moment we don't actually have much to play this is the turn we want to play everything Super. so definitely want to do this onto the coin so the coin becomes 16. nasty and we can play this one even though we overburn it it's fine Play this one Play this, then everything gets plus one, right? Yeah. How much for another part? And it can, you can actually exceed it. We have to spend three more mana. This is two. Actually, no, never mind. We don't need to give more. Let's just attack with this. Oh, uh, high one goes here. He's not gonna die. He's gonna come back. He's gonna survive with one HP. Over and over again means we finish them off. Survives with one HP. It doesn't matter. We finish them off here. Yeah, so you have to actually s to plan properly to actually spend it mana on the right turn. Mm. Nine damage. Rally Chrono Break. It's like it's a direct Chrono Break. It's not like you just put Chrono Breaks into the deck. It's pretty nice. Gives us heal. If you can grow them big enough. I'll take it to a certain extent it's actually oh, it's slow it's gonna clash with set and I might as well take yeah mf then because uh kale is five mana set is five mana champion actually will get priority rate yeah between these two i think this one is much easier uh, mist rates are a little problematic they grow over time so eventually i have to block them and they can only be blocked by fearsome units so that's another pain uh, I'll throw these away. I'll keep one of them. I don't need both of them because I can only play one at a turn, right? Now it's good. This one and then the other one. Chrono Break as well. Okay, get our coins in. I think I'll play another elusive unit. And oh, never mind. If you play an elusive unit, you won't be efficient at playing this one next turn. Let's just play this. They are this. Every way is a path. Harley on one of our units, I'm assuming. Yep. Sorry, right, we can double attack. That's four, seven, eight damage to face. Attack with scout first. And then attack with everything. Never gets old. Super. Then we can rally here, right? Yeah. Actually, rallying here wouldn't be the right thing to do. Unless we lose a unit. 
There's no point going for rally this turn. But this is a different turn. And we can do so much more here. Okay. Same drill as before. We can do 8. But better we copy... Yeah. It's nasty. We can do this. Our mana back. Uh, then play this. Looks like a full house. Nice and swing. And, would it kill you? and we can swing double. The Chrono Break. Not that it matters. We just finish them in one swing. But yeah. Zephyr into Chrono Break is a pretty nice combo. I actually didn't even... I didn't even know that we had a Zephyr in the deck. It's good to be the boss. I guess they didn't have any units in their hand. That's why they didn't play anything. Uh, nab is not something that we want. Our hand is getting clogged as, as it is. Well, support I guess plus one plus one is pretty. Whatever this girl summons, we'll basically get it. Okay. Champion damage, gold. Champion damage, attach will get priority. Bash with the yeah, is pretty nice. I will take draw with the MF because MF is going to hit the board faster than set. So might as well give it to the person who hits the board faster. Monkey Idol is okay, I guess. The other one, Professor Yap, one year pistol is painful, I think. Dealing with small units is painful. This one, having region is bad, actually. Okay, anyways, this time we're gonna play MF, throw with the rest. She has spell shield. There's another MF though. Can I get anything decent or two mana? I think you have only one two mana unit in the deck, that's right. Unlucky. At this we got a three mana unit but problem is we can play this we can't play this can we anyways we're gonna play yeah anyway mf okay play mf fortune favors the bold Packed him good. and just do this so, overall so it goes through and we hit the face we go for our scout girls this turn and this then again scout girls and we have four scouts attacking next turn a little bit of damage though. I might use make it in this turn. I'm gonna cash in the thing. Do this. So I can make it rain. Okay. Let's see if they pull with with the monkey we have a make it rain kill kill, kill on them. They are not. Oh we can just do this. We get rid of this basically. We hit right. I'm okay with losing it. Because we're gonna play uh, the other scout unit and swing this one. There's six mana we get it, yeah. So we can make it in to get it with six mana. Get this one. This is four mana, we need to play two more mana. If we make it rain, we get plus one plus one. Yeah. We make it rain. Plus one plus one. And then swing with the scouts. And all, all the units have overall on them. They're gonna kill one of them. They're gonna kill this one. They're not killing this one. Let's, it. Let's just go the smaller ones. Yeah, support. Give me my support area plus one plus one for this girl experience because she does it. She attacks twice. So she's giving actually plus two plus two over turn. Yeah, MF was a much better pick than Kale, in my opinion. Oh, rally. I'll take dude. Jack is a pretty nice here, but Rally is too just nasty. Okay. Your first spell each round costs 10 less. Oh, damn. There's another legendary in the pile? I'll take it, dude. Costs 10 less. Now I have to look for a very expensive spell that is. Always in my hand is nice. I'll take one of them. Okay, two of them. And go next. We got a legendary. The first time I got in this legendary. I didn't even know that. The oh my god, there was a scribe of sword, dude. I would never have taken the legendary, dude. Okay, so I got add a copy of extra copy of it. What do you want? We'll take this one. Cost two, but it's plus three plus three. Damn, dude, if I knew. If I knew there's a scribe of sword, I never would have bought, brought the, bought the legendary, dude. I would cut down the opposition. Uh, 10 mana, oh man. Free mana, free spell per turn is nothing compared to what Scraps of Sorrow does. Mm, I'll need this. This deck is gonna struggle a lot fighting yeah, Fiora. We don't have kill spells on our set. We don't actually even have that big of a spell to kill something. Spell costing one is not actually that bad. This, this beam is the only proper answer we have for Fiora. Let's 
Fear is not coming this turn, okay. Uh, I'm okay with taking a little bit of damage on my aim if they pull it, that is. It's the turn we're gonna play uh, Fiora. So we have to be a little wary about that. Uh, it's actually okay, right? 6-6, six, six, yeah, I'm okay. So what I'm gonna do, what I mean by that is, I'm gonna play this one. If they block with Fiora, Fiora's HP is gonna be low enough for me to um, kill it with the aftershock. Or I can chrono break and attack again, and they won't have a blocker this time. Or I can just do this. If I spin one, I will have three. Spin one, kill Fiora, throw everybody, and then swing. I think this was also a pretty good combo. Okay. Okay. Spell costing endless is not that bad. Why endless? Why not just make it free? So even if it, if they kill us, it doesn't matter. Next swing we win because we are attacking two two units and they have only one HP left. If we gotta make it rain, we also auto win. Always two steps ahead. Okay. Oh, we can just do this. Probably gonna go for set. Oh, they're not going for set because it's confirm kill next turn if they don't kill me MF. Okay. We'll just swing and win because this cannot be killed. Um, set cannot be killed unless they strike us. So that's that. Okay, that was such a good combo. That legendary is debatable though. It's a niche legendary because if a deck doesn't have spells, that legendary is useless. Deathless is bugged if I remember correctly. Overwhelming, we already have it. So we take a reroll here. Plus one more, but that's more damage. I'll take this one. Will we be able to damage? Kill something bigger on the board. Dead enemy, dead ally coming back to life is nice. I'll take it. It's a gold and item. We hear it. We spent a lot of gold, but it's fine. Item is okay. I should go for item, I guess. This legendary power is super niche. Super good for high uh, spell decks. Like Lux would be pretty nasty. I don't really need this one, right? Yeah. Six mana is too, too far away. One and two. One and three is fine. Two is fine. These two are perfect. Spells costing one less. Okay. I can just kill it with the, this. And play this. Even if they kill them, they, don't, they need to have, even now, even with Make It Rain, they don't kill us. So definitely want to take out this one. So that my MF is safe when I play her. Now I can play no pray, no pay. You never know what you're going to play, right? So might as well just do this. Uh, I'm going to pull it with the MF so MF doesn't take any damage from them. Love ya. Next, play our, we ready our scout unit. Oh damn, that's a good pull. Uh, we'll make it rain here. We have a very good target across the board. Okay, I should have played this one first and then make it rain, by the way. Because now if they pull, my MF dies. Why didn't they pull my MF? Interesting. Uh, I'll... They bang the man on that. Play this guy. I play this way. And I will play this girl next turn. We have scout attack coming in then. We have set. No set. This girl. Okay, going for it. Can't really do anything about that. However, we can just, we just get rid of this. We have a less blocker coming in. We attack with the scout first. We have two hitters, and then we attack again. And this time we're gonna support this. So this one actually takes the trade here. They would have taken the trade anyways because of the MF. Oh, I should have given to someone else then. But we maximize our damage. I think we have enough. One. Off. We gotta make it when we win. We have a draw? Nope. We have this. Take 
thing and just hit the face. There we go. Yeah, AMF actually has super nice combos with Seth. It actually follows a very specific strategy. And Reme, I think, and uh, Reme. And Misfortune has a lot of, yeah, rally synergy. You get a lot of rally cards if you have MF, I think. Always in my hand is pretty nice. This is pretty good. More copies than one, one, three H. I don't like any of them. I grow my health to match my power. This is actually the one that I want. It's a better power than the other one. Nasty, actually. Okay. Shop and item. Do I have enough gold? I don't think even if I go here, I will have enough. I don't think I get 170. You need 300 to buy this one. So there's no point of going here. Because I won't have enough to buy anything. Also no, sorry, item. But I would be able to buy other stuff. Okay, never mind. Just gonna go there. Uh, The rock hoppers are a more problematic fight. So I'm just gonna go the Riptide Tricks fight. Even though I can't buy anything. I can't buy a power, but I can buy other cards. Okay, I'm gonna keep my MF. But I'll keep set as well. Being able to play him on the curve is nice. It's 5 minutes 6 5 at the moment. I'm definitely gonna play this one because this guy gives coin when you hit the face. Not nice elusive, hopefully. There you go. I'm gonna play on top something that's important, not for it, like right now. In a random unit, and it, my unit got hit. Unlucky. Uh, I will play this one. No I'll take a bit of hit this turn when the swing comes in. Why is this interacting? Yeah. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with the uh, 9 damage. I'm gonna take a full heal before uh, going uh, for the thing anyway. It's saying the fact that I don't have any decent buy. This. Elusive okay. strike first. Swing. MF has spell chill, so she's quite protected from spells and stuff. Highly unlikely that she will die. Damn. Oh, damn. The HP as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep it for the time being. Get a unit from this. Oh, and we got our MF. Should we get our MF back? Because M oh, the power activates as the turn starts. Unlucky. That's all there is to it. The flood the board with my hands. But this will give us the yeah, right MF back. Oh, super, dude! I'll take it. Ah, this is the first time. It's been a while since I got a good chronomic clutch. Always forward. Let's scout attack first. These two. And swing at everything. No holds Pop the bird. Pull this one. There we go. HP goes to the match my attack ball. That was a very good chrono break. Yeah, that was a very good chrono break. <laughs> it's good to be the boss. Not like we'd have lost, but it made a very big difference. Randomly, yeah, dying. Uh, strike draw is extremely bad because she's, she attacks twice. So our hand is going to get super clogged. So I'm going to take a reroll here. I'll take this one. It gives everybody plus one, plus one, and rallies directly, so that's nice. Five mana, but it's fine. It kills something on the board for two mana. Actually, a nice card. Informal is pretty good as well. Keep cut. When an ally strikes the enemy next to this curse, the, these are such good powers. Damn, we didn't get it. Yeah, unlucky. We didn't have enough gold. Like I said, we wouldn't. Okay, then I will. And can't, I can't buy anything here because if I buy anything, do, do I have a mystic shot in the deck? Do, don't have a mystic shot in the deck. What I can do is I can buy two mystic shots or even three and go to the next pit stop and take a full heal. That's, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, I'll take a full heal here. And go face off against a 1.5 star Darius fight. A weekly challenge. With our two star set. Set is actually decent. He's just slow. That's the only problem. Is it Darius, right? I'll keep these. 
Because the first spell we play is costing zero, that's why. It's a free clear on the board. Play this and this together. They're the one that we're the ones that are here. We'll kill this is because as long as this is on the board, we get a one damage, and when this this dies, we get one damage to face. There's no point having double face damage. So might as well just do this. And because of this, I can play a set on the next attacking turn, uh, discounting him. Immediately kill it. Got the chance. We got pretty good spells in our hand. We have very good answers actually. It's fine if it's wasted. I don't really mind. I'll just discard my set and play it this turn. Discount my set. Play it. Don't worry, boss. Do I have enough? Actually, do I have enough? What I mean by this is play this and play this. Energy on the board will take plus one plus one. Attacks with the uh, yeah first. Scouts first. And then grow this one's okay never mind this guy has quick attack so he won't die anyways i just will give it to set so i can pull it like this and do more damage unfortunately we don't have any phase damage other than our mystic shot if you get one then we can rally this turn oh rally directly now i didn't mean to do that i wanted to do this He can attack. Not gonna attack. We still have our Always scout fall. attack in. And then, yeah, finish it off. The there we go. Super. Pretty good combos coming in at the end. All of the spells came out clutch together. Yeah, everything worked out for us. <laughs> it's super clean. Okay, so the 1.5 star Darius uh, path, the weekly challenge done with our 2 star set. Let's see what we get. Probably an A. We did pretty well. We, did, we finished it pretty fast as well. Okay, A. Champion HM power discussion time. The RMBP unit A is uh, MF. Uh, she has spell shield, and when I'm summoned, draw a card. Moving on to the next one. The reason why I gave her draw a card because she is 3 mana. She's come, she hits the board faster than set. So giving a draw to her is nice. That's the one that I gave her. Okay, let's look at the powers. All allies went. All ally allies have attack grow my health to match my power. This is a much better power than the other one, which is grow my attack power to match my health. Because every time you attack, your HP is gonna go back to uh, whatever attack power you have. Even if you take damage, the next time you attack, it's gonna go back to whatever your attack power you have. So it's pretty it, it nice. It has a ne somewhat a never-ending supply of uh, benefits for you. Ne next power is when an ally dies for the first time. Summon a hunter too much better than it looks. Next one is ultimate unlimited power. The first spell each round cost ten less. It's okay, but my deck didn't have that many spells. Whichever moments it uh, did work for out, out for us, it was because of this spell. So that was pretty nice. But nevertheless, don't take it on a deck that has low spell. But it's a pretty decent legendary. I'm going to put it in the lower part of the other legendaries. Like unyielding determination and stuff like that. But yeah, it's okay. Next one is this is this is this has more value than the value than the legendary. Allies have overrun. We grow our units on the board as, as time passes by as, as we have a combo here. So every every way having overrun means we will always dish out some somewhat few face damage. That's pretty nice. This uh sets two star part. Every game starts you get one extra man and round start, create a coin in round start. Every round we get one coin in hand. And this is if it sets one star power, after you spend six plus mana each round grant allies plus one grant means permanent everything on the board will take plus one plus one for every time you spend six mana it can happen more than once that means if i spend 12 mana everything on the board will get plus two plus if you spend 18 mana everything on the board will get plus two plus three pretty nuts and of course game starts you heal your nexus for two that's about it okay so this is a two star jinx pad the weekly challenge with our two star elise let's do this let's look at the mutators round n if the foe has three plus units grant them plus one plus one so you have to always manage how many units are on the on the board and of course game star shuffle three copies of ruination into all players take they call zero both me and the enemy will have a zero cost ruination the reason why i took ellis is because if, we, if i get hit by ruination uh, ellis squad is super cheap you can play them again and you'll have always have a lot of cards in there oh super legendary game star add a random item to each card in your deck i'll take it dude a free legendary to the start that means the entire path is gonna get the you know legendary feels along the way 
if you get normally if you get the at the end you only get one value or two values of fights but if you get it at the start you have so much more value three. oh damn this costs three less right oh nuts dude okay uh i'll keep this i'll play at least at least on turn one then i can just directly play this game. but problem is they might have a zero one and ruination right now that's the way we have a ruination as well Okay. They are at least the ruination. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking about. They might just have it. Everybody has three copies of it. Hmm? Have another Elise. I think I'm gonna play the Elise. We have another ruination. This. You must be savage. With everything. Any attachment one spider gets, all of the spider will get it. That's the nut nutty part. Okay. Oh, nice. Let me summon it first and then level up. When you ruin another one. Yeah, second one for them. We know for a fact they don't have any more ruination. I mean because they already used two and they have one more. I'm okay with this. Or oh, do I care? Yeah, it's fine. I have tough on me. And if they kill it, I'm just. Oh, yeah, I can't block. It's alright. We'll just swing and finish them off. You don't want to play anything, it's because in case they drew another ruination, you're in a bad spot. But yeah. This is going to be extremely problematic in the sense that they might blow up the board with ruination. That's why Ellis is pretty good, because half of his hard units are super cheap. Draw a unit. It's not actually that bad. Slower, I would have taken it, but this is very really nice. Draw a unit. If something is dying, I can just give it on to them and draw a unit for free. That seems like a fun yet thing to take. Lulu is that net, dot net that this is a combo which is quite bad into free mana, <laughs> zero mana ruination. So that's that. Healer, do I need a healer? Nope. Slot, but it's just weird. Okay, we're gonna go top side and collect some gold. I mean, why not? Other bit of are just weird. Okay. I don't really like any of them. I want my Elise or that spell. My question is, do the attachments change every game? Like, or game, fight, I mean. I think so. Yeah, it does. Every, it, every fight, it changes. Oh, we could play this one. They might have a ruination. Can't really do anything about that. Next. You're okay, Donnie. No biggie. What I could do is split. Now, if I play, yeah, I can play this one here. Oh, if they attack with this one, I'm just gonna buff it, fed. kill it, You're and okay, draw Donnie. a unit as well. No okay. I'm also okay with this one. Thanks. If they swing with this, we, yeah, we'll do this. Both of our units get straighter off. And we get a unit draw as well. And Mar Mar I just wanna, uh, definitely wanna get rid of that guy because for every skill they play, I take face damage. A good good value question is of the ruination right i'll still pass and see what they do i mean they could still ruinate by the way so we'll just do this one oh, that's so cool. and then swing you like spiders i'm okay with this get our ruination yet they have already used one did they i don't think they did to be the king. They did, right? I, have, I don't remember. Okay, anyways. Uh, what we can do is do one damage here, one damage, two damage, one, one, one. I'd never my guess so that he has a higher chance of leveling up. Actually, he does directly level up right now. Now, the worst case scenario, he has a ruination. But we have, we, this, uh, rather we also played for free, so that's that. Uh, do I have to play anything? Not really. I should buff everything. I, I lose one, but everything on the board gets buffed. Then I need the buff so that Vlad can drain to do damage like this. Or else it would have, it would have killed both of them there. Okay. How much damage is this? Two. Let me just do this. Yeah. 
to one drain and the hit goes. See, that ephemeral for one mana is pretty nice. Yeah, we got a little lucky there that they didn't get ruination, but I don't think it would have mattered. We were in a pretty good spot. We were in a much better tempo control there. Deal two to go to give other things plus two to this run. Just create a slipstream in hand. Yeah, I'll take it. Item cold chest. 100 extra. Lord broad main. I'm gonna keep this one. Pretty nice. But I will definitely throw the others. I technically definitely want Elise to be in my opening hand. This cost two. If attack give my others plus two. I'll play this guy. It has attack value, so even if you don't keep it on the board, it's not that bad. So we'll play this one first. This the dice gives oh damn for every time a spider dies we get a rally that's nasty dude you want to do is do this now we can swing all the spiders will have a rally now that's nasty okay uh one damage to everything If everything's alive, it gets plus one. So, what you want to do is. Biggest one. I'd never they might have a ruination. That's the worst case scenario. But. Uh, yeah, Vladimir level. Oh, my glory. They. If we get hit by ruination right now, it will be very bad. Yeah, it's very bad. We lost so many, so many more units than they did. Got rally as well. I think I should take the swing. We have them now. Damn. Unblock that one. Okay. But I can stun it. My dude. Go on, Fang. Just like I taught you. Get him. If this swing, I take the trade. Sure. This thing. If they ruin it again, we are okay with this. Oh damn, we're gonna take Tarosh. Tarosh is a very good unit in the long run. They ruin it again? No ruination, I guess. So look at how many rallies are coming in. So what we wanna do is just do this. Yeah. This I think perfect. The reason why this is perfect is because now I can just keep on doing the combo. Okay. Put this one here. Because of the kill, we get a rally. There we go. Yeah, the Tara weapon was absolute clutch there. Nuts. And rally on the spiderlings. Yeah, it's all about broken combos. Doing one to everything on the board is pretty nice, but we'll take, uh, I'll take Gwen. Gwen seems such a, such a good card to have. I've still in the deck, it's always appreciated. Uh, weakest one gets plus one, so I'll take a reroll. Everybody has plus one plus one, all the spiderlings will have plus one. Uh, what can I take? Atakan is nice, so I'll take one of this and go next. I don't want to spend too much gold. Can I go something that's not working out for us this guy actually is not that good i'll throw it out and face off against the gin like that guy doesn't really do that. it it promotes and helps level up lad but lad level up is not that great put these away he got minus three again or oh, zero this turn it got minus three as well Least but ruin it again. No ruination. All the spiders will get plus one, plus one now. Plus two, actually. Oh, damn. Did it get permanently? That here's some this round. Okay, I think base hits. Is this spell shell one? Yeah, it's a spell shell one. What 
what good's power if you're not going to use it. So this gives everyone plus one plus one. Okay, so I don't need to play this one right now. I just skipped the turn, yeah. I think this is much better. We can play this one. If they ruin the board, I have other answers. They don't have a ruination. Just do this. And now swing. Ah, forgot about that spider link. Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, we got them. Yeah. Damage buff was too much. This is the reason why I love the spider links. They grow so fast. So crazily. And all, all allies have plus one just makes it even worse. Crazy, I mean. Faster for us to just dish out the face. I think I'm gonna give dragon plus one plus one to my Ellis. At least just like controls all the game so well. Two husk at the start. I'll take it. Equipment equipment is also not that, but two husk is nuts. Because obviously gonna go to the red pad. Yeah, two husk means at least has a chance of getting very good keywords at the start. A challenger, she's nuts. Obviously, at least we get priority. Throw with the rest. Double husk if you want to put on one of these. Oh, she got special this turn. This game, I mean, this round. Elusive. Spell shield. Uh, not the not the worst. It plus plus. It also gets plus two plus two. Hmm? At least gets both of the thing. I know what lurks in the shadow. Sharpen the blade. Cure the kill. Hearts now. Eh? What did they get? Glossal hammer. Oh, he got colossal hammer. Everything, uh, every spider is plus three, plus two, like plus three, plus one. You are in the right to call themselves. Okay, I'm just gonna block that one. Ah, such pretty poison. So I don't take my Ellis doesn't take any face, uh, any cr critical damage. Now the question is, do we double up and get hit by ruination? But ruination hits them as well. Bait it out. I don't think we need to bait it out. Yeah, I think I should just do this. Um, two damage to this one, and swing at everything. Hit here. They can't block technically, so just kill them. If you develop something, something, I would have a chance of getting ruinated. So might as well just dish out the max damage for free. They had two non-blockers. Two units on the board that can't block, so I'll just take it. Oh, try! Spiderlings have plus one, plus one, and da Dragon Fury. Okay, Alice, I've been more plus one, plus one. I'll take it, dude. My spiders are gonna come on the way as five or six. Two arm gear heads. All the plus one will get. Uh, this is slow. Also, would have taken it. I will take a reroll. Slow spells are casted twice, so the spider spell is casted twice. I'll take it, dude. There's some nasty powers. Uh, spells an item. I'm gonna go to item. So if, if I see if I can give him more attachment to my spiderlings. It's pretty nuts, dude. This one is gonna be played twice, nah, dude. Holy shit. In that case, I don't even need to play anything big, uh, like two mana or three mana. I'm just gonna skip the first turn. First two turns and play this and have six spiders on the board. Oh, never mind. I have to play something to take the uh, keywords. Hopefully, we get Elise. When? Oh, not the greatest. For the Empire. Something of three mana? Damn it. A little unlucky. I think yeah, true, I can't play this one this turn for unfortunate reason because I get I lose the value. I don't think that uh, the spidering summons will ever take the husks. What just happened? When she got 18, double my plus. Oh my god, she got black silver on her. And of course, they had ruination at that moment. Super unlucky. I can just do this. Cast it twice. Oh my god, they got captured on them. <laughs> so nuts. 
I'm just gonna swing. No reason not to. Yeah. I can't really do anything. Oh man, spiderlings are on a war path right now. Uh, how much? Four damage. This, 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 this. Hello. Oh, so they don't technically take any damage. Super. Oh my god! If <laughs> they summon, they at the capture auto. Second ruination, fine by us. Yeah, so one thing that you will always notice is that they have ruination at very good times. That's why you have to be super careful. I'll just do this and capture them again. <laughs> Nine seven three. Holy shit. Just sw swing and finish them off. If you play anything, they have another chance of getting ruination. <laughs> Wildlings are so nasty. Dude. Yeah, random, random uh, attachments on a unit. Spiderlings is the worst. Because you get free spiderlings. Pretty nasty, dude. No face damage whatsoever for a while. Uh, I don't really like any of them. Honestly speaking, I don't like any of them. I'll take a review over here. More spiderlings. Oh my god. Spiderlings have mana extra on them. Holy shit, dude. That's nasty. I'll take a reroll again. More spidering attachment at this cost two now. I face off against the two star chains. I don't, I'm not too worried. My spiderling has inbuilt attachment on them, which is basically tough. So they will never technically die to this passive. In this fight, whenever they attack, everything on the board takes two, one damage. But I don't really care. Dude has scouts now. Our spiderlings have scout. Oh my god, dude. I should have kept this one. I could have played crawling sensation. Or a yeah, is two mana. Question is, who do I give it to? I think Gwen is a much better year uh, than at least because Gwen has overrun on, on her. I'll give it to Gwen. Oh, at least we don't go overrun this one. But I think one first swing just levels her up. Yeah. Okay, two husks on the board at the start is way better than I thought it would be. I thought I was gonna get ruinated there. Okay. Higher chance of getting ruinated now. Because they're drawing so much. Spiraling with scout. And mana as well. Moment of truth. Are we supposed to get ruinated right now? Nope, ruination, but we can ruin it. Okay. First scout attack should go in. Ruination? Oh. Swing like this. Yeah. Okay. They're going for our spiderlings. Face. What's the face damage for? Yeah, developing is just too risky. One ruination and we're in a bad spot. Not like we're losing, but yeah. Why even give them that, that bad spot? I'd never keep my guests waiting. Take that out. Got to go towards our land level up, which we are working towards, and we can get ruined right now. Okay, it's telegraphed in the sense that if they have play units, they don't have ruination. That's just how I take it. This one's mine. At least that's my deduction. In before I play these two, and then they ruin it. That levels up. My glory. I put both of my spider and swing next turn, I guess. I don't need to use the scout yet. Let's play. Okay, never mind. I don't need to even play that. I'll just play crawling cessation. Go next. At least levels up. We swing. We keep one. Open the right, so El okay. Oh, okay, one thing. El when Ellis levels up, she doesn't actually summon a spiderling. Yeah, when Ellis levels up, she doesn't actually summon a spiderling. So that's good to know. Don't make the mistake where you're opening the spot to get a spiderling and you don't. Yeah. 
Uh, and the spiderlings were just too overpowered this like entire path you got so many attachments on them and that's exactly what i was saying that one attachment on one spiderling means all of the spiders will get the attachment okay so the two star jinx pad the weekly challenge done with our two star elise Let's see what we get should be an b or an a yes i'll take it champion champion power discussion our mvp are the spiderlings of course uh, so spiderling has inbuilt top on them and then i gave fury plus one plus one to all of them and then i then it they get got uh the round start uh, get a mana crystal on them i think this excludes them from the power uh that can give attachment to them randomly every turn so yeah it's pretty nice it's busted they're absolutely busted let's look at the powers when you play a slow spell copy it onto the same target that's actually nice is because the crawling sensation which is the elite champion spell is slow as well as that six mana spell that summons three spider links is also slow so if you play six mana you actually get six spider rings on the board because of this this is pretty nice allies have plus one plus one is pretty nice because all the we have a lot of spider links or spiders on the board so everybody having plus one plus one plus one attack power is nice uh game star summon two husk it's actually very good it's way better than i thought it would be it's probably because i have a low mana champion if you have a low mana champions or low mana very good units then this is power is excellent okay allies have plus one i have two of them that's pretty nice everything on the board it gets plus two already okay this is the legendary power we got at the start of the path game start add a random item to each card in your deck for this game each round is in each fight every fight the attachments are going to be different for every card but nevertheless you can actually get epic and crazy attachments on them like my spiderlings got captured on them so that whenever i get a free spiderling summon it also captures pretty nut that moment was pretty nutty of course this is a two star power if you game such you get one extra mana and round in if an ally died this star summon a spiderling so every attachment the spiderling has is also gonna apply on this one for the one that you got for free and of course when alice alice is one star power when allies attack grant allied spiderlings everywhere plus one and of course game starts you heal your nexus for two that's about it Okay, so this is a 3.5 star karma pad to the challenge with our three star or let's do this i forgot that i even had or at three star anyway so let's look at the meditators okay. 10 extra hp one extra mana one extra card in their hand round start the grand the foes units zero hp round start grand the foes units okay, this is gallius for power right the foes units have quick attack Ew, should be a problematic fight and it's fine i took on because of the karma fight you can you, you can play on on turn one because your karma starts with turn uh 10 mana okay out of all this i love fixer upper nasty power yeah orns have a lot of equipments and shit on their units as it is and like, giving them plus one plus one is even more nasty but enemies have weak attack so be careful okay if you want to take a mana skip here i want to take a ramp here Arm is here. I can play run turn six if you play it right. A quick attack. Have this one go. Do they get any powers? Oh. Take, the the work. Take the kill here. Next, okay. Spells costing one list would be nice. Fixer upper is there. Okay. We just want to play. Okay. I just want to attack in then. If I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna play the mana skip, I might as well just attack in. This one. Next. I can just play this on my mana, yeah. Minus. Do this on my mana skip. Oh, uh, what? It's gonna cost two less, right? That is the case. And who do it? What do we take? Lucky find is pretty nice. We might take a little bit more extra damage, but we're okay with that. Next. On turn 6, which is next. We have to play Orn. Next turn is Orn's turn. Definitely want to play this guy. Scout. Then play the girl. Then put an attachment on the girl. Did I put it on the girl? Nah, I'll put it on this guy. This girl. Scarlet first. <laughs> attack with everything. Crawling cessation. Nice. Swing with everything. 
Even though Arn is slow, he's not that bad. Depends on depends on the path and fight, right? But still. Uh, let's find on the one that we'll copy, which is going to be the uh, what's that thing called? Scout. This Arn's turn, we're gonna take this guy's scout. There we go. Wanted the god of the forge, you got him. Attacking twice with ramp absorb is not. What? As long as he's all on board, everybody has overwhelmed. Okay. Uh, block here, block here, block here, block here, block. Too much salt. Ramp is hitting hard. I'm going to arm. Already has overall. Just give more attack power. And swing with the Orn only first because he has scout. And he's gonna summon a ramp, which is gonna absorb as it as it is. So he's gonna put more steps. Swing. And he absorbs it. Because of the corrupted fragment. Orn, if Orn swings, it's basically game over. Level the Orn. Well done. Mm -hmm. A little slow. It will be fine. Oh, oh damn. It's so nasty. This gives us an epic attachment across the board. Do we need that? I think a zero cost unit on the board is much more better value. Because we are slow, so we want something fast. Very nice. It looks pretty nice. I don't want to play Victor. Victor is just weird and slow. Okay, Scarves of Sorrow, definitely. We're going to go Scarves of Sorrow. Keeping a turn, going to turn 5 is nuts, dude. If we get a free summon on the board and attach this onto the free summon on the board on turn 1, absolutely game breaking. Okay. Shit, dude. Then has. Inform a copy of yourself. Yes. Perfect draw. I will tell you of Horn. Two damage to face, can't really do anything about the bad. But we have flash bombs coming in. Okay. Miss? Not by a long shot. I'll Let's take my hit. Oh, it's on. This is actually good because it, it has only one HP left and we have four, four flash bombs, so it can actually die to the flash bomb. This is around stun the strongest enemy, weakest I enemy. I dare you. Don't kill, unlucky. Uh, we'll just ramp them. Not ramp, I mean play this guy. Get the mana one. And put this one. Nah. This is, this is actually a pretty good one. I mean, we'll play this one. We'll just take this one. The reason why we take this one is because this is gonna grow over time because of the thing. Get this one here. The next. This challenger? Challenger. Super. Okay. Um, we'll put it on our ear. Yeah. Swing with this, pull with this, and swing. You get, get rid of Caitlyn as it is, dude. Okay. Yeah, it's leveled up. Orn. Now we just have to play Orn next turn, right? Yeah, we're gonna get Orn next turn, so we don't have to worry about combining other stuff. I'll do what must be done. Unlucky, dude. Heal for a bit. Activate the flash points. Oh, I actually played the wrong one then. Don't take the damage. I wanted to activate the thing. Not that it would have made a difference. Let's go next. If if they stun Orn, that's just unlucky. Because if they have a younger another Yone. That's exactly what I was saying. Give another you on him. Yeah. Just this thing. Mm. Here. Welcome. Swing the weapon. I am actually okay with the swing. I want to get rid of stuff. 
Because they have quick attack, they have more value in their attack. Uh, next. There's a there's a time when they won't be able to block these. Next attacking turn they have to. I will swing open. Uh went here. It is time. Watch your stand. I can block it with Orm here. Uh, another nail for hammer. I'm gonna block one of Call. I'm okay with it because I have seven man. I can play it again. Aren't done. Skip is gonna come and attach itself. And we swing and finish them off. There's nothing they can do. Oh, everybody has overrun because of Aren. Putting level up as well. Question is who do we pull? Probably the lowest HP, which is this one. On summons a year, he sub absorbs it himself. Like that. This will make it sturdy. Huh. You're all in trouble now. 14428 here. Do not interfere. So even if they have an answer to stall on, a point will come when you can just open attack on that turn and you will win. Because of the sheer stat line he'll Another have. Criminal court. Another case closed. And if you get a scout, that's just nuts. Alpha Wild Claw. Too expensive in my opinion. Oh, it's pretty nuts. Nuts. Seven. I think I will take this one. It helps us draw means better setup. Because you don't really care about anything big. We just want Orn to come on the board. Triple as always. Nasty combo. We start a turn. We have start with five men on turn one. All we need is free unit on the board. This is actually a good one. I don't mind playing this on turn one. Because I will enter turn four next turn. Our attacking turn. I will play it. I will play this one. Seems like a bad idea, but it's fine. They're attacking. They're not re-attacking. This. Let's take it out. Ramp up and go next. Now I can play this into Caitlyn. this one here uh i'll take more stat points uh something of cheap super i'm okay with this right okay we can take the take block here it comes back to life right see that see that deathless doesn't work for some weird reason dude what is that what what did i even attach to them Anyway, whatever we play our Caitlyn. Well, okay, they're going for the real one. Oh, this is focus. Can't really do anything about that. More flash bomb then. Swing. It's fine because they have flash ones in the deck. Four of them. Oh, never mind. They get one extra HP. Horn is coming next turn, anyways. There is a story. Okay. Uh, I want to play this one. Because they're gonna swing. I have to block anyways. They're gonna swing with the block anyways. Okay. I don't want to keep this girl alive for next turn. Okay. Everybody's surviving, which technically we don't want. We want people to die. So how do we do it? Yeah, it's fine. I want people to I need the space on the board. This is your perfect right yeah. Forge it. So that Orn takes a bigger thing from them. When you play Orn like this, he takes it and because of the girl she he forges it she forges it again. So she she she's, she's gonna have an insane stat line. Like in the 15s I think. 
and now swing. Okay. Ooh. Swing is everything on the far right. Here comes my molten friend. 36. 35. There we go. So you just want a support squad that stalls or controls the board before on comes to the board, which which Caitlyn does pretty well because everything you get Caitlyn other than Corinna is cheap, and you can use it to control the board. I wonder when are they gonna add Caitlyn to the roster? And the draw is pretty nice, right? Uh, free attack with Poros. Poros are not that great. Draw is pretty good in case we don't get Orn. We need it. Shop, tap it, shop, tap it. Shop will get priority, but never mind. Shop won't get priority because we don't have the gold to buy anything. Might as well go for to the free champion squad where you can get it. Built in scout for Orn. But the thing is that even if you strike with Orn once, you win the game anyway. So giving uh, scouts to Orn won't help that much. I'll take it to Caitlyn. Getting to put super super high pressure. Scouts on Caitlyn means you put two extra flash bombs in deck when you swing. So that's better value than Orn, who's just gonna finish the game off anyway. So you don't need the scout attack on Orn. Caitlyn controls the board earlier parts of the game and uh, Orn just finishes it off. Uh, I'm gonna throw this away. I can play these two together. Put these all three cards together in turn one. Which ones do we really care about ramping? We can ramp next turn. We can ramp next turn, that's alright. So we wanna play the uh, higher HP unit first to see what they do. Then we can play this. And then we'll play Caitlyn. So, scout attacks first. And then swing like this. That's pretty good. Look at look at how many flash rooms. We put eight flash rooms on turn one. And of course they didn't draw anything. This, this is the this is the turn when we ramp. Next. Get a weapon, we can actually put it on her. No weapon. Uh, we can just do this and swing first. One step ahead. Okay. First hit. Fear the power. I can flip this. Okay. Forge again. Temper the steel. Okay, is it damage units take damage? I don't want them to all damage units. Okay. Caitlyn's gonna die anyways when the turn starts because of because of the fact that she is she took damage. So there's no point not attacking with her again. This unlucky we if we got in this the start of the turn we could have done more. Yeah, we could have attached it to Caitlyn. It's alright. She did her did her a hard job. Fourteen flash from the deck. We are getting on. Unlucky. The question is, who do we give it to? Probably the guy who has this fury. Uh, the two mana one. So we can do it here. Forge it. And go next. Unfortunately, on didn't level up because we didn't swing with anybody with attachment. Did he level up? He didn't not level up. So we'll play on. Take this one. How much? Doesn't matter. He has top. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he has full top. Victory awaits. It's all right because we have the uh, challenger. We can actually pull on Swain. I will break oh, them. but he got the hit on him. Uh, nah, no need then. Just take him, Swain out. Now our own is leveled up. Good. Now the yes. thing is that even if they're stunning shit, but they won't be able to do it when we have the attack token next time. We just we're just gonna full swing in on and finish them off. Even if they can stun this turn. But where are our flash bombs? By my hand. Hmm. Activate the flash bombs. There should be a lot of them. For the Empire. The few okay. for the many. So Orn is getting stunned. Uh, I'll just put this one to have a clear some blocker if I need to. So block this. This is the turn I was talking about. Full swinging in, no one can cut block anyways. Ah, dude, that's super unlucky for us. Just to swing them. Obviously, take out Swain. We just want to put more pressure on the board. Oh, because of the uh, city breaker. Forgot about the city breaker. 
Oh, but we took out another Swain. Now we'll just do this. They have more flash rooms. Yep. Caitlyn should come in. We should also, yeah, take out stuff on the board. Uh, I'll take another draw. It's hitting the right target. It's just that it's it's tough. And by yes, we have some massive units on the board. But without Swain, they can't technically stun our unit. They can get another one. So far, we took a two. Might be another one. Swap this one. Uh, and it's nice. Okay. Lock. 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 Lock better. There we go. Lost all, all of everything from their side. I think that helps them. Ah, they grow. Because whenever they take damage, they grow. This one gets value. It's alright. I can just... Never mind. Everybody has attachments. There's no need to put anything anywhere. On swing should finish them off alone. Fine. I'll just do this. Who has... Challenger. Okay, yeah. We got super unlucky there when the random... Uh, city break not random the city breaker hit the faces and uh, onto the stun but yeah because the attachments on is super stable when he comes on the board you just have to stall the game yeah it was super unlucky right yeah we had 12 slash when we didn't get even one good hit on her okay there's no point of taking deathless because it doesn't work might as well just put one beyond caitlin he'll be surely way more difficult to kill now Go here. Take a reroll here. Someone in front copy or someone in front copy? That means that my, I will have three Caitlyn's coming in. Not to mention the fact I will have two Orns on the board. Caitlyn, obviously, first play. Let's see if we can get anything better. When I say first play, I mean next turn. Oh, damn it. I can, I can just ram this turn then. Horn is here. So what we'll do is we'll just play this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll bank the mana. Dude, yeah. I'll just bank the mana and play Caitlyn next turn and have ramp ready. So I'll skip two turns and uh, Orn is gonna come on the board faster. But one thing I know for the fact that just playing Orn fast doesn't really help Orn. Orn needs at least one equipment on the board. One. So we'll play Caitlyn. We'll have three Caitlyns. Swing is all of the Caitlyns. They are scouts. We won't do anything. We're just gonna ramp up. Swing. Like eight ramp. Yeah, so next turn, we hopefully get our equipment that we play this turn, so Orn can copy it next turn. That would be the most idle thing, no equipment. There's a right tool for everything. So what we can do is ramp even more. Yeah, ramp even more is actually a better option, I think. I brought my book. It's fortune. Strike while the iron is hot. Next. If we get an equipment now, it's still too late, it's fine. Uh, we attack with Caitlyn first to see what the happens. Transform, fine by us. The Corina activate all the flash bombs. Uh, we need to attach something to her. Give it to Caitlyn then. As long as one equipment hits something, Orn has value. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. So we're gonna put Lucky Find on this one. Forge. Swing at everything. Yep. Fine by me. 15 damage. Or it's gonna give Overwhelms. But we don't need Overwhelm. 
Over we don't need it. Tough. It's okay. I'll give two more extra power. Attack power. But she will have overwhelm and everything will uh, when Orn hits the board. All right, all right, by me. Orn, copy the yeah. What's called clay, right? Desert clay. What's that thing even called? Swinging glaive. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to Orn. So the ramp is bigger. Give it to Orn here and swing. I don't need to attack with the scout. Orn alone finish them off. Attack with the scout will just be stalling, stalling the game down. But here I should definitely uh, play this one. You put four more flash bombs onto them so that Caitlyn hits for more. But yeah, that was super nice. Triple Caitlyn on the board. Yeah, I forgot that you get a copy of informal copy of Orn as well. So you need board space. This is plus two, plus two. I don't want more expensive units. It's fine. Let's just go for power. Legend. The first time an ally dies each round, revive it. Unyielding, unyielding legion. What? These are dead. Disgusting powers. What they could do? First time. Oh my god, I've got double legendary across the board. I'll take it, dude. Okay. So, double legendary, just like that. We have two legendaries to play with. <laughs> we have 10, 11 powers, and both of the two are one legendary. First time, allied has come, bring it back to life. Oh, that means we can play, we can play five Caitlyn's on the board. Because she's gonna swing, she's gonna die, and she's gonna come back to life. And she has scouts, so she she stays on the board. We have five Caitlyn's coming in. It was anything other than Caitlyn. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. So we just want to play one unit. Uh, I'm okay with blocking her. Huh? I'll show you what do you mean by that. We'll play one Caitlyn. Okay. If we play one Caitlyn, we'll have three Caitlyn's. Whenever a champion dies for the first time, revive it. So they're gonna come back to life. One of them will come back to life and he's gonna summon even more. Yeah. And now we triple Caitlyn again. Yeah. But two of them are real this time. Uh, do we care about it? Nope. We can just do this. Take it out. Okay. Oh, they can play it, right? Yeah, they can play it. They can summon it again. Well played. Let's do this. That's nasty, dude. Turn 114. Yeah. Flash bombs. It should insta die. Eh, never lucky. Give it to Caitlyn. Uh, give this overarm to Caitlyn as well. Caitlyn really ru running the show, dude. Scout Caitlyn's attack first. And there we go. <laughs> the first time an ally champion dies, bring it back. Revive it. Nice, I'll take it. Yeah, the revive is nasty because you can summon, do the summon combo again. Copy of yourself. More flash bombs. Nah. Zero mana flash. Infernal copy is nice. Champion achievement. Give over more stat line to Caitlyn, dude. Absolutely overpower Caitlyn. Full heal. Might as well, I, I don't have any better use for my gold. And face off against Always a 3.5 star Karma Path. Karma fight, I mean. Double legendary. Okay. No point having this, though. We can do this one. I throw it with the other two. We can ramp it fast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? We are starting to turn 10. No. They're attacking, so you have to be careful about that. So we can technically play Caitlyn even if you want to. We can't play Caitlyn even if you want to. Okay. This is the main fight why I took Orn. The fact that he can be played for free and I've messed it up. Unlucky. And Scrabs are sorry, super inefficient in this fight. There are stories in the ringing of steel. 
If you forge it, the weapon gets the step, not the unit. Forge, forge. Okay. Play our Caitlyn. You want to attack with the Caitlyn like this, I guess. Let's counter attack first. By force of will. Flop, fine by us. Act with conviction. Okay. He's giving it stat line. Okay. Okay, more, we have more units on the board. Fine by us. Uh, both of them die because there's no space. That's why it was a little awkward for us. Maybe we can just play this one then. We can attack. Frozen or destroy equipment. Nasty. Let's do this. Before we do that, we just take out yeah. Karma. Honestly, I didn't need to do it like this. I could have just played this one and the flash phone could have killed Yeah. Karma. Yeah, I messed it up. I think I messed up the combo there. Mm, swing. The dragon binds us. Super. One has leveled up. Thank you. Forge the weapon then. In case you get an Orn. Oh. Oh, unlucky. But he didn't have leveled up. Okay. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. Yeah, that's a broken strategy. Caitlyn has put so much pressure. We didn't get good value out of her, but the heal. Forge. Forge. I'm not gonna full swing by the way. I'm gonna definitely attack with the scout first. Put pressure on the board. And then put this one here. You make it to anybody doesn't make a difference unless they have overrun inbuilt. So the lowest one should get it, which is this one. They would have done this. You see, they would have played the fast speeds anyway. This, this, this would have been blocked anyways. So now we get more value out of it from the swing. I mean, arm. Take a stance and hold. Next, yeah, they are not getting their second karma, and we're not getting on an arm. Snap out of it, sister. No, yeah. This is how I fight. Crosses are effing them up. Temperless before. Swing with Caitlyn. Damn. 12 plus 4. And this should do it. Because Caitlyn's hit will hit for 4. Even if they have 5, 6 block, 4 block, 5 blockers, Caitlyn's hit is gonna hit for 4. Super. Damn, we messed up at the end, but those legendary combos were nutty. That I didn't even know these legendaries even exist, honestly speaking. Because the 3.5 star karma pad, the weekly challenge done with our 3 star Orn. Let's see what we get. Should be an S. I mean, we played pretty well. S champion and champion part decision. Obviously, it's Caitlyn. Uh, our Caitlyn came with uh, when I'm summoning someone in from a copy of a champion of herself. So when you play her, you get a Caitlyn. Then I gave her a scout. Then I gave her a savage shield, making her plus one, uh, plus one, plus three. Then colossal hammer, plus three, plus one. And she eventually became a three mana seven seven. That has an informal copy of herself as well. L as a power. That when we summon a champion, we summon informal copy. So we technically summon three copies of three mana seven seven Caitlyn on the board. And if the Caitlyn dies. It summons itself again and it, it summons uh, another Caitlyn. So we take, in theory, we summon six Caitlyns on the board with a combo. Absolutely broken and nasty across the board. Which of the cases, our hand, our board did get filled up so it dies. But nevertheless, if, if the landmark wasn't there and we didn't have too many units on the board, you would th theoretically have six Caitlyns on the board in one turn, on turn three, attacking. Absolutely broken. Let's look at these powers. Absolutely beyond nutty. 
power over enemy everything on the board the round end will get plus one plus one so everything on the board will grow so you don't want to take a, a negative or a ne neutral trade on the board because the units will grow this one is a new power i've never got in my life we just got a lot of legendaries this uh, week this let's look at it undying legion the first time an ally dies each round revive it it's a better much better uh, version of that um the other thing that haunted tomb that the first time an uh, ally die you summon a haunted tomb and the haunted tomb summons the strongest ally that died this time and first time an ally dies revive it so the first time normally you'll always uh caitlin on a turn three attacking will be always caitlin dying because you didn't summon anything else and the informal copy of dying means if i have a new copy summoned and a new copy will summon three copies because you know it's coming combining with this one and as well as this one absolutely broken you will see one of the fights it was pretty nutty and of course uh the next power is when you summon a champion summon an exam informal copy of it so caitlin summons two of herself this one and this one together uh let's look at the other powers which is crabs this is crabs of sorrows power on turn one or round one you get a temporary mana gem we have three of them on because of Caitlyn's two star power we get one, uh, one extra mana at the start and because of this we get three extra mana so in total on turn one we have five mana it's pretty good even if you don't use the five mana efficiently there's always an extra mana in your hand or you can summon something of a lower mana like a three mana or four mana and keep the one extra mana this this combo has always worked for worked out regardless of who you played it i will always go for the scrap to score combo uh next one is fix uh, fixer upper round star give your weakest ally plus plus this round and this is on three star power i believe or one star power game start summon on on forge the first time you forge each round forge it again on forge is landmark three mana on the board you get diamond indication every turn uh this is uh orange two star power if you game such either one extra mana and the first time you play an ally or equipment that costs plus four mana manifest an equipment and reduce its cost by two so you get a random equipment and you reduce its cost by two of course game starts you heal your nexus for four and of course this is legend rank 20 power uh round star draw champion not specifically caitlin or on any champion in your deck you get a random free draw and that's about it